I got it. Mm -hmm. Ta da! <laughs> it's your birthday! So it's the end of the day, or I'm kind of worn out. Donnie wasn't here for this, but I am filming with my new camera. We actually hatched less in this clutch than normal, which is kind of interesting. We actually had multiple eggs that were not fertile or stopped in de development. And I wonder if maybe because we're trying to hatch girls or, or whatever, if we had made a mistake, but we still got some really nice dwarf caiman, but we breed them every year consistently. This was like our seventh, eighth time, something like that. Yeah. Usually it's so sudden. There's a fly on my leg. Give it his all. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's your birthday!
You know, I'll just get along. <laughs> This one I expect is going to be bad because this, this was damaged. But, ew. I don't think I like anything that's going on here. What's up everybody, Rob from Northern Reptile here. Wanted to show off baby dwarf caimans that were just born here a couple days ago. These are our 2020 captive bred baby dwarf caimans. How cool is that? It's like hatching out little dinosaurs. And when did they, when did they all start to hatch, man? It's like yesterday and uh, the night before. They, one came out kind of early and we're like, okay, we got a little bit of time. Maybe that one was just an outlier. And then we put them, all the eggs back in the incubator and then looked a couple hours later and like most of them were out. We're like, crap! So uh, we did get a little bit of footage of these guys hatching out. But if you take a look at the scales in the back right here, these scales on the sides are actually going to go straight up. Uh, once they get a chance to harden, but right now because they just hatched out all these scales are kind of soft and pliable Because when the baby's inside the egg, it's all wrapped up super tight And so these scales that would be rigid on the back right here are actually super soft and It's gonna take a couple weeks for them to actually harden up and then they'll actually stick straight up uh, To and you can see there's actually some that are still folded down on the top of the tail right there But I do want to check because we did a little bit of an experiment with the incubation on these guys. We, the, they are temperature sex determined for incubation. So if you incubate them at a certain temperature, you can hatch out males. If you hatch them out at a different temperature, you can hatch out females. And if you hatch them in the middle of those two temperatures, you can actually hatch out both sexes. And for the last like eight years, we only hatched out one girl. So this year, for the first three weeks of incubation, we actually did not put them in the incubator. We let them kind of sit out in one of our rooms that are about 83 degrees, 84 degrees. And then we put them in the incubator. So we're hoping that there's at least a couple girls in here so that we can hold some back for future breeding projects so that we can make F2s with these guys. So look at his little umbilicus, his little belly button is right there, just like we have a belly button. So do the baby dwarf came in. That's where they attach to the yolk inside of the egg. And then right here is their cloaca, that's where they go to the bathroom from, where their vent is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread this to the side a little bit right there. This is his little peen, so that is a little boy. Can you show me a female? Maybe, I don't know if there's any females in here. This is a boy. <laughs> he was just holding it in. Just holding it in? Yeah. He's got strength. Another boy? Looks like only one girl this year. That wouldn't be a boy too. Who's trying to scare me right behind me? This is Jeremy. And this that's is another boy. And another boy. Boy. Hey Jeremy. Bum, bum, bum. Hi. And uh, and this video is definitely gonna include some footage that Jeremy filmed of Kevin McCurley on the day up. So how many eggs do we normally get in a clutch? I mean, of that the hatch. You, last year we had 100% hatch rate. We had 14 or 15 babies that hatched out. This year we only had half the eggs hatch out. So. Do you have any idea why that might have happened? I think it's because we didn't put them straight into the incubator. It might have been that, or they might have rotated when she was burying them because she kind of laid them all along the edge of the bottom of the enclosure as opposed to laying them all in like a tight area like she usually does. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, that might have played a role in where the embryos ended up. It's like, I'm gonna wrap my tail. Look at how much how much strength they have in their tail. And once they get a little bit bigger, their tail kind of goes straight and they, they can't use it like this <laughs> or they don't use it like this, but look at that. That's Interesting. a lot of strength in that tail. Okay, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure that you turn on your notifications on the Twitch. We will be doing live streams like this randomly during the day where we got cool stuff hatching out, if we're cutting some eggs, if we've got unique babies coming out and, and things like that. Uh, if Kevin is going on a tirade and is about to throw someone off this roof, we'll definitely live stream that. Yeah, it's getting easier too because my backpack's wireless now so I can follow him everywhere. Ooh. It's cool, guys. This isn't on our phone, guys. This is a whole setup we have. If you, if you guys are subscribers, you can watch our, if you miss our bro live broadcast, you can watch them in the archive anytime you want, anytime you, and you need to. Only and for subscribers. Only for subscribers. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!